Fernando Alonso is gambling the end of his F1 career on a shot at that elusive third world title and he's turned to Red Bull to make it happen. We understand Alonso is actively pushing Red Bull to find out whether there's a potential vacancy for him there in 2025, either in place of Sergio Perez to form an explosive partnership with Max Verstappen, or in place of Verstappen himself should intra-team tensions at Red Bull force a previously unthinkable early exit. Alonso may be seen as a potentially disruptive force, but with Ferrari fielding a Leclerc-Hamilton lineup in 2025, Red Bull may feel the need to also have two elite drivers rather than just the one. If it's not Red Bull, then Alonso is plan B for Mercedes, if it's protege Andrea Camille Antonelli isn't ready in time. Aston Martin has made clear it wants to retain Alonso, but how long will Aston and its uber ambitious owner Lauren Stroll actually wait for Alonso while he probes up for options? And what if Alonso recommits to Aston too early, only for Red Bull to suddenly have a vacancy? It feels rather fitting for Alonso's career to end on the kind of knife-edge driver market decision that's defined so much of it.